It is April 30th, 2020, Thursday morning, and this is the third day in a row that I'm out on my front porch. So, hooray! Um, it's a little windy, but we'll survive. Today from my front porch chat, it is called The Three Little, pa Three Little Superheroes, Once Upon a Time by Claire Evans. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They dreamed of becoming superheroes. In fact, they were so obsessed that their family house became cluttered with all of their superhero collections. So one day, Mother Pig told her little superheroes it was time to find their own homes, and she waved goodbye. They walked for hours, crossing dangerous rivers and climbing steep cliffs. Until finally they arrived at their destination, Fairyland. After an exhausting trip, the pigs decided to set up camp for the night and build their new homes in the morning. While toasting marshmallows in their superhero costumes, the pigs met a new friend, Little Red Riding Hood. She warned them about the big bad wolf who'd been terrorizing Fairyland. The wolf had kidnapped Mary's little lamb and stolen sheep's clothing. He'd even been disguising himself as different grandmas and stolen their clothing. The pigs were warned to be on guard. The next morning, two of the pigs were desperate to play superheroes with their new friends, so they built their houses as quickly as possible. The first little pig chose straw to build his house, and he had gathered all he could find. The second little pig chose to build his house out of sticks, and he collected them from high and low. And in no time at all, their new homes were ready. While his two brothers were having fun, the third little pig was patiently building his house out of bricks. He wanted to make sure it was strong and sturdy, so he worked very hard. Finally, all three houses were ready, and the pigs were very happy in their new home. Suddenly, the first little pig was startled by a terrible growl outside his window. It was the big, bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he cried. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, squealed the panic pig. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. Whoosh! And with one puff, he blew the house in. The first little pig ran for cover to his brother's house of sticks. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, the wolf bellowed the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried the wolf. I mean, sorry, cried the pigs. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed. Whoosh! He blew the stick house in. Dodging the flying sticks and falling debris, the two little pigs ran as quickly as they could to their brother's house of bricks, narrowly escaping the nasty wolf who was getting very angry and very hungry. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, the pigs replied. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, screamed the wolf. So he huffed, and he huffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. 
but the brick house would not blow in. The wolf was furious. Suddenly, the pigs were startled by a loud clanging noise from the outside. The cunning big bed wolf had made another plan to climb onto the roof and sneak down the chimney. Two of the pigs started to panic, but the third little pig had a super plan. He had been boiling a pan of water on the fire all along. So as the wolf came hurtling down the chimney, he fell bottom first in the bubbling hot pan. With a piercing shriek, he jumped out of the water and straight into the pig's net. The big bad wolf was defeated. The pigs waved goodbye to the silly old wolf as he was carted off to prison. With Fairyland safe at last, the pigs' dream of becoming real superheroes had finally come true, as the whole town cheered their special new name. Hooray for the Lee Three Little Super Pigs! Oh, did you see the wolf down there? There he is in jail. And that's the end. Alrighty guys, I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.